Surprisingly little, uh, actually surprisingly little. Um, I think, you know, once you've been doing research for a few decades, <laughs> you, you get pretty sort of uh, much into it. And when I, you know, found out about the Nobel Prize, which, you know, changed certain things uh, that didn't really essentially change the sort of science that I was doing, um, because, you know, already there was science going on, and so it wasn't that I was going to just drop it. Um, so in some ways, it, it, it hasn't changed, and yet there are certain external things that have changed. You know, surprisingly little, sort of people sort of think, oh, well, you know, if you've got a Nobel Prize, somehow you don't need to apply for grants anymore or something like that. That's not true, and that's the case for, you know, many of my colleagues who, I mean, I don't know that many, but people who have Nobel Prizes, they assure me, yes, you're still competing for grant support, just like anybody else. As I say, it's part of this being very grounded part of the, you know, the research community is sort of very grounded. People still, you know, hold you to standards of um, critical, uh, you know, review and so forth. Which is good, which is, which is healthy. So, you know, I still lie awake and sweat and worry about funding for the lab. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so, so in many ways the science hasn't changed. I suspect that um, some of the collaborations I have, maybe, uh, you know, people will come and say, oh, you know, we'd like to collaborate with you. And perhaps they wouldn't have done that before. I get invited to do nice things like <laughs> visit and, and, you know, and I'll see things sometimes uh, and visit in ways that I probably wouldn't have done quite so easily without the Nobel Prize. But that's sort of external to the science.